So at the, at the end of the trial, we uh, found that the average daily gain in the maximum treated group was 1.82 kilograms per day, and in the uh, prograin treated group, it was 1.65 kilograms per day. The, the proportion of animals that didn't perform was significantly different in the two groups. In the maximum treated group, only about 2% of animals didn't achieve better than 1.2 kilograms per day. But in the prograin treated group, we had something like 12% of animals performing at less than 1.2 kilograms per day. The proportion of cattle with diarrhea was also significantly different in the uh, two uh, treatments. The maximum treated animals, it was 3% of animals in total that had um, diarrhea, whereas in the uh, program treated group, it was about 18%. So in summary, we definitely see an improved average daily gain with the maximum treatment. We see a, a tightened distribution of animals, so we have fewer animals that are performing at lower than the uh, acceptable level, and we're seeing less diarrhoea. And uh, this generally translates to an increase in uh, performance efficiency.